right. So it's been about three-ish weeks since I last played and recorded this. And to be honest, I kind of haven't stopped thinking about this game. It's been a really long time since I've felt so invested in a game and the story and the characters, the world even. Although I do want some opinions because... Actually, wait, hang on. I need to think real quick. Last time the game said that I think we're going to the wall market? That's right, yeah, we're going to the wall market to try and find a way back up onto the plate, and I get the, the unfortunate feeling that we're probably going to have to go talk to Don Corneo, so I'm just going to make my way over that way. However, th this, this is what I need some opinions on, because I was originally... You're not the Materia guy. All right, my bad. Uh, I was originally planning on playing through disc one of this game and then moving over to the remake. However... I did read something that the remake might not be so much of a remake as much as it is like a, almost like an alternative timeline, or like a, you know, kind of like a weird sequel in that manner, potentially, depending on where they go with it. Uh, like, there's some things very late game that kind of pop up and just won't make sense if you haven't, you know, played through the original, or at least like all of it. So... Should I play through the entirety of the original and then move on to the remake? Or should I still go on with what I was planning on doing, which is, well, play through uh, disc one and then move to the remake and then go back to finish the rest of this game? Either way, I am planning on making these videos longer. That way we'll kind of move through it a little faster and, you know, just more will happen. But I, I really want some, I guess, opinions and stuff, so... I don't know. L let me know, I guess. Also, one thing I do want to do is once we get back over to uh, um, the uh, the wall market, I do want to pick up one of those mithril bangle things or whatever for uh, um, yeah, for Barrett. Okay, let's actually get Tifa back up because she took a lot of damage there. I wasn't paying attention if that was from... Oh, whoa, wait. Is that a new attack? I think that might be a new attack. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> I, uh... Another thing I was kind of thinking with this game... Uh, at first I was thinking it might, like, eventually turn into an open world. Hence, like, all the interconnectivity between everything. You know, almost in a similar way to, like, um... You know, Seeker of Mana and Chrono Trigger, I guess. Also, there was a thing there. But I'm starting to think that that might not be the case. Um, I mean, it might still be in one way or another, but sense. Equip sense command. Ability list sense. Alright, I guess we'll just have to play around with that to see exactly what it does. Maybe it just, like, ups our hit chance or something. Maybe we can see, like, if an enemy's vulnerable to something. I don't know. We'll have to play around with it. Also, yeah, that all happened. I, I don't even know what to say about all that. I've had to kind of, I've had time to like think about it and everything, and I still don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I'm just kind of speechless even thinking about it. Um. Oh wait, no, no, that's the gym. I don't know how many times I made that mistake before, and you know, just walked in there thinking it was the weapon shop. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and pick up the mithril uh, armlet. That's what it is. Oh my god. That's gonna... <laughs> Not quite triple Barrett's defense, but it's gonna get kind of close. Actually, wait, no, I guess it'd just be doubling. Uh, equip, that's what I'm looking for. And then we can go ahead and equip the, uh, the Materia as well. So let's get Restore, let's get Sense. Also, I don't know how I went from Equip to Materia, but... That was a thing. <laughs> uh, I guess there's a button that you can just, like, cycle through options or whatever. Maybe, it, I don't know. Maybe I'll just have to pay a bit more. Oh, God. Getting stuck on everything. Oh? You want to see something awesome? Follow me. Ooh, maybe we don't have to talk to, uh, maybe we don't have to talk to Don Corneo. Which, to be honest, I am perfectly fine with. <laughs> the less we have to deal with that guy, uh, I feel like the better. Everyone climbed up this wire. Oh, it looks scary. <laughs> Can we climb it? 
Yeah, it leads to the upper world. All right, we'll climb up this wire. There's no way we can do this. You know how far up it goes? There is a way. Look, what does that look like? Just a normal wire. Oh, yeah? Well, to me, it looks like a golden, shiny wire of hope. Wait, who's saying this? Um, you're right. This is the only way to save Eris. Oh, wait, that wasn't Cloud. Who was that? <laughs> Maybe it was Tifa. Um, okay, that was a bad analogy, but Barrett, I understand how you feel. Let's go. Oh, hell yeah. Got the kind of heroic music. What does that say? No mercy. Uh, does that say boil? I think that says... I'm trying to think if it could just be like cut off, like ball? Uh, no oh man, this is horrible. Hey, scary, huh? Dad told me that it's the Shinra's doing. Oh, are we gonna get like a view? Oh, yeah. Got a big old view of everything. Okay, well, I guess we're going this way then. Is this an item? No, that's just an opening. Oh, God, this is... <laughs> this is actually a really cool perspective. It's something that I really actually like about this game. Um, uh, maybe if I put a battery in, the propeller might work. Wait, propeller? What would that do? Okay, so do we need to go back down and find a battery then? I'm not really seeing... Wait. Is that squeaking? Is that just like noise? Okay, yeah, it just happens. I, I wasn't sure if it was like because we were walking on something maybe. Okay, so we need to go find a battery then. Um, wait, 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 that robot thing. Because there was that, um, that item shop that just had, like, the big gun that, like, you know, kept firing at us. Maybe we can just pull something out of that. I mean, it's not like I, <laughs> it's not like anyone's really going to stop us, I suppose. Or at least not that I know of, but I can't really think of anywhere else to go. Or at least anywhere else to start with. But yeah, I, I completely forgot what I was about to say. I, uh... <laughs> I'm kind of trying to take everything in, so if I get really scatterbrained, that's kind of why. Um, it's just me jumping between, like, 40 different thoughts in my head, so don't mind it too much, please. All right, so let's see. Can we... Beep blip. Whoa! Oh, I'm broken. All right, well, I guess we're not... Hmm. Where could we go for a battery? I wonder if we can actually go do anything down here now. Uh, hey, you guys. Hey, it's you. Sorry, but I already heard about you. In addition to dressing like a woman, seems like you like to smash and grind things. We only let cultured customers in, got it? You Then you'd better leave. Um, I could grind my big-ass sword into your skull. That would, you know, work. No? Alright, well, I don't think we're going to be able to talk to anyone else then. <laughs> Is he just, like, spitting at us? Alright, well, I don't think we're getting anything over here then. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's the shop up here that the guy said that they weren't open yet. Bye. Oh, hey, we can actually buy some more stuff here. According to that guy with the tank, if you're strong enough, anyone can make it to the top plate. So build your strength by having a plate of our food. All right, well, this place did kind of seem to... Um... Give us something that ended up doing absolutely nothing last time. Actually, I think from uh, the comments that some people left, uh, it was for, like, a little side quest thing that I completely kind of missed. So, 
yeah. When I go back and play this for like a second time, I'm I'm definitely going to play around a lot more with all of that. Actually, I might just look into like what you're actually supposed to do, just uh, just to kind of, I don't know, they see like everything that I might have missed out on the first time. Uh, it was all right. Thank you very much. All right. Well, never mind. That was absolutely nothing then. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because these guys were talking about the junk in the trash. Right, right, you're right. The owner of the weapon shop scavenged some of the stuff that came falling down. Maybe we can... Okay, okay. Yeah, I was kind of thinking, like, maybe these guys might have, like, a battery or something. No. Oh, you mean he went out to the plate cross-section next to the Don's mansion, right? Oh, you know. I wonder what he's doing. Yeah, it gives me the chills. Okay, yeah, the moment the kid said something about it, I was thinking, like, oh, yeah, maybe he scavenged something. You there, tank man. You going up to the plate? You better have a battery. You're gonna sell me something you just found? Hey, you knew? But I repaired it, so it's alright. Why do I need a battery to climb up to the plate? You'll find out when you get there. How about 100 gil for each? Um... I mean, I already know I need them, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, received batteries. Cool. Hopefully we only need the one. I feel like we might have to come back and grab some more, but I guess we'll see. But yeah, one thing, I started to say this last time we were up here before I completely got distracted. One of the things I love about this game is the sense of scale and perspective. Because when we were up on the plate before, like kind of looking down before we, uh, oh God, hiccups, um, before we kind of like fell down, um, it, we were kind of looking down at like, I, I wasn't sure what it was at first. But it was actually just the slums below, and then, like, after we fell and we were looking back up at it, that was, like, when I realized exactly, like, what it was. So now that, like, we're looking back down at it again, I don't know, it's a really cool way of taking, like, a 2D perspective and adding, like, a lot of depth to it. And it's something this game's actually doing really, really well. Anyway, um, it might work if I put a battery in it. I guess I'll just have to believe in the shopkeeper. Wait, what did that... That turns that on, but what does that do? Um... Oh, it lets us... Okay, we can run along the propeller then. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of cool, though. Uh, need a battery here, too. Ah, I had a feeling we were gonna... Oh! Right, because it gave us batteries, not just the one. Also, I'm looking at the other side to see if there's, like, any items or anything over there. <laughs> Looks like the only way to jump is onto that bar. I should make it if I jump before it comes too close. Wait. Should make it if, I, I think that's just a weird translation. Um, I should make it if I jump when it comes too close. Use the OK button to jump. What is the OK button? Sweet Jesus. Um, this one, maybe? Okay, well. Ah, uh, jump too soon. Okay. <laughs> we might be here a little bit. Also, my god, this would be terrifying. Yes, Cloud, I know. I know. Nope. What the hell does that mean? Does that mean before it, like, gets to us? Or is that, like, before it gets away from us? Ah, we got it. Alright, well... <laughs> Pure happy accident, but actually, yeah, you, I think we can just go. I didn't see any items or anything we might be able to grab down there. All right, what's next? Ah, uh, yes, another battery. I'm assuming we're jumping down there? Uh... Uh, hold up. Oh, no, 
know, we're just climbing here. Wait. Can we go back down? Need a battery here, too. Okay. Received an ether. Oh, that was just for an item. All right. I was a little curious, like, if we were going to need to do something there to continue otherwise. And wait, where? Oh, we're here. Wait. Wait, how do we get down? Or get back? Or... Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay, yeah, we need to go down this way. Which means we're doing this again. Wait a minute. When it makes... Do we need to jump when it makes the squeak? I'm assuming that's... It, it seems to, like, sync up with this. Like, when it like, gets closest to us? Let's try that. Yeah, okay, okay, so we gotta listen to, for the squeak then. I guess that makes a lot more sense now that I'm actually... <laughs> now that I actually kind of noticed that. Okay, so hopefully we don't need that battery elsewhere. I guess we'll see, though. Unfortunately, I'm not really seeing a lot else, so... Oh, music change. Oh, wait, is this, is this the scene for the cover art? I mean, it definitely looks like, you know, the perspective for this building. <laughs> it kind of is. <laughs> 